Hello, welcome back. I'm going to show you the blackjack program after some fine tuning and refactoring of my code. I'm going to show you the solution that I used to solve the double aces, uh, which I could manage to solve in the previous version of my blackjack. Before that, let me run the program to let you take a look of the blackjack again right I'm gonna enter the player's name and then the total chips You can choose to hit or stand. Hit again. Oh, we get a gap. Black Jack here. 21, and I'm going to stand this time. Four cuts. 21. Dealer's turn. 20. 10 us won this round. You can play the round again. As you can see, the remaining cuts in the deck reduce for the second round. If the total cuts in the deck is less than 20, it will create a new codec gate. Right. So what we're going to do is that we're going to just put test the program. I've created a boolean in my draw card method. A second uh, parameter to enable me to test uh, the program. So let's say for example if I put a through here. What happen is it will automatically provide me an ace for the first card. Okay, let's take a look. Right, dealer get the natural blackjack and dealer one. Let's do it again. Again dealer get natural blackjack. Wow. It's amazing. So let's say for example I want to uh, test the double aces and give this player true aces right if you take a look of the hand value for two aces you get a value of 12 and basically this is correct because the first ace the value is 11 the second ace the value is 1 11 plus 1 is 12 if the hand value is 22 definitely it is incorrect because the first value for the, uh, the value for the first ace is 11 the subsequent ace should be 1 if the total hand value is more than 21 okay so I can't test the third ace because they will get a blackjack let's say I play again hopefully dealer won't get a blackjack all right now let's hit Ok, 
Okay, if I get a 10, 12, 11, uh, no, here, 12, 12 plus 10 is 22. It's busted. I mean, it's bust. So, dealer 1. Let's say if I change the program. Alright. Let's say if I change the program and when I hit it, I will get an A's as well. If I have three aces, see what happened. Yeah. Okay, double A's. Alright, good. Deal and get a black track. Hit again. Okay, so three aces. Three aces. The hand value is 13. So, first ace, the value is 11. Subsequent ace, the value is 1. So, 11 plus 1, 12. And the third ace, the value is also 1. The 12 plus 1 is 13. Alright, so it works accordingly. This is how I solve. the logic I'll check based on each time I draw a card last time I have um, a method here called deal first two cards to deal two cards to the player and then I remove the two cards from the deck then I realized that hey I can use this draw method to draw two cards even the first round when I uh, deal two cards to the player and deal two cards to the dealer so each time a player receives a card, straight away we will check the hand value plus the current card value if it is equals to 21 and if the player's or the dealer's hand uh, got one card it means that yeah, the, that person get a natural black check otherwise the, uh, I'll check the person's uh, hand value plus the card value if it's equal more than 21 that I mentioned just now and if the current card is a is an ace that current ace value will be transformed to 1 instead of 11 that's it I have this checking each time um, draw card uh, execute Right, hopefully this uh, solution help you guys in uh, solving this uh, ace issue for this blackjack game.